Hello everyone. Welcome to Nursing Lectures. So this is uh, an English version of the previous video as I received some messages on Instagram uh, where some of where some of the friends have asked to remake this video in English version. So here is the English version of uh, the previous video uh, of the drop doses calculation practice questions. So uh, before heading towards the uh, before heading towards the questions uh, or the videos, uh, first of all, I would request you all to go through the description box where I have listed some uh, questions uh, of this video. Uh, questions of this video where you can practice them, and uh, after practicing, you can go through this video, which will help you to um, practice for your complex exam. So uh, let's move towards the question. First question is, the primary healthcare provider prescribes 20 mg of phenobarbital by mouth once daily. The medication label reads phenobarbital 10 mg per tablet. The nurse prepares to administer how many tablets per dose? Fill in the blank. So here is the fill in the blanks. So this type of question uh, will be asked uh, in the NPLEX exam. So this is one of the simplest question. Okay, I've uh, um, here I have uh, brought you the one of the simplest question of drug doses calculation. So this uh, will be this will be very easy to some of you or uh, or if you are new to it, you, you may find it very helpful. So, okay, in this type of question, what you need to know is the formula. Okay, the formula for this type of question is drug dose ordered by dose in hand into quantity. So, in some books, you may find volume to, okay, instead of quantity, you may find volume to. So, uh, dose ordered by dose in hand into quantity. So, here the prescribed dose, okay, dose ordered means the prescribed dose by the physician. So, what is the prescribed dose uh, in this question? So, here it, that has been said primary healthcare provider prescribes 20 mg of phenobarbital by mouth. So, prescribed dose is 20 mg, okay. So, dose ordered is 20 mg and uh, dose in hand. Okay, dose in hand means uh, what dose do you have in the, in your hand or the volume given in the tablet. Okay. So in the tablet, the medication label is phenobarbital 10 mg per tablet. So okay, per tablet contains 10 mg of phenobarbital. Okay, so dose in hand is 10 mg. And quantity is 1 as there has been written per tablet in one tablet there will be 10 mg so quantity is 1 okay so here dose ordered is 20 prescribed dose and dose in hand is 10 uh, in tablet form what medication in what it has been labeled in medication okay so 10 uh, it is dose in hand and quantity is one so our answer will be two tablets so th this is one of the simplest question uh, so the answer is two okay and you need to fill in the blank so in this way you can do this so uh, moving to ask the next question question number two a client with a stroke is prescribed altiplase so a stroke person is prescribed with altiplase and the prescribed uh, dose or the prescription is for 0.9 mg per kg. So prescribed dose is 0.9 mg per kg. Okay, so per kg uh, you can give 0.9 mg of LC plays. But here the question is the client weighs 247 pounds, but the weight is given in pounds. Okay, 247 pounds. So what is the total dose in milligrams that the client will receive? So, 
we need to find the total dose in milligrams that the client is gonna receive okay so uh, round your answer to the nearest whole number and fill in the blanks so in this type of question you need to uh, know the no first is the prescribed dose so the prescribed dose is in the form of uh, mg right 0.9 mg per kg so we need to calculate in kg but the client weight is given in pounds so you need to understand that you should convert the client weight from pounds to kg so convert pound into lb and remember 1 kg is always equals to 2.2 2 .2 lbs or 2.2 .2 pounds okay 1 kg is always equals to 2.2 .2 pounds and 1 pound is equal to 1 divided by 2.2 .2 kg okay this is a simple uh, 1 lbs or 1 pound is equals to 1 divided by 2.2 now the client weight is 247 pound so we need to convert pound into kg so here by calculating 1 pound is equals to 1 divided by 2.2 means 247 pound is equals to 247 divided by 2.2 right so for 247 pounds you will get 112.27 kg okay so in this way we can convert pound into kg and uh, further the question is total dose in milligrams that the client will receive so for this we have the formula weight into dose order and the weight should always be in kg and dose order should always be in in the form of per kg and uh, here we got our uh, weight that is 112.27 kg multiplied by dose ordered is 0.9 mg per kg so dose ordered is 0.9 and we will get 101.04 units now don't jump directly into fill in the blanks because here it has been here is a further question round your answer to the nearest whole number so we should uh, figure it out in whole number okay answer should be in whole number not in the decimal form okay here is it, it's been it's given in decimal so, the, so here is 101.04 you cannot write this so it should be in whole number form so rounding uh, the answer Take the answer and round it to the nearest whole number of 101.04 uh, mg is 101.04 means it means it's bit it's between 101 with 101 and 102 but 04 is nearer to 101 okay so the nearest whole number is 101 so we should write 101 mg and the answer is 101 so in this way we can find the total dose in milligrams that the client will receive and it should be in the nearest whole number so heading towards next question the primary healthcare provider prescribes 500 ml of 0.45 percentage saline to be administered over one hour the top factor is 8 gtps per ml the nurse sets the flow rate at how many drops per minute round your answer to the nearest whole number fill in the blank so here uh, in this type of question uh, this question is uh, different from question one and two so here you need to find out drops per minute okay so you need to find out drops per minute so uh, for this type of question you have got the formula volume divided by time into drop factor you so 
you here you should always remember that volume should always be in ml and time should always be in minute form okay um, and drop factor will always be in gdts for ml <coughs> so i'm sorry so in volume uh, so the volume divided by time into drop factor is our formula so we need to find our volume time and drop factor so here the prescribed volume or prescribed volume of saline to be administered is 500 ml so here is 500 ml it's given in ml form so we need not to be no, so we need not to convert this okay so here it has been given in ml form so volume will be 500 and time time should be always in minute and here it has been given that it should be administered over 1 hour so 1 hour is always equals to 60 minute so our time will be 60 minute and our drop factor is 8 gtts per ml okay so this is our formula so here is our volume in ml form 500 time in minute 60 and our drop factor is 8 Calculating, we will see. We will get 66.67 GTTS per m per minute. Now we got this, and further there is a question. Round here, answer to the nearest whole number and fill in the blank. So uh, by rounding it, figuring out to the nearest whole number, 66.67. 67 is nearer to 67. Uh, between 66 and 67, the uh, nearest whole number of 66.67 is 67. So, uh, by appropriate rounding, the answer is 67 GTTS per minute, and we need to fill in the blank. So, this one is also easy. Now, question number four. The nurse is calculating intake for a client. Client received 0.9% saline at 125 ml per hour for six hours. Three cups of fresh juice, one cup of tea, and cup of water. The nurse should calculate the client's total intake and how many ml fill in the blank. So here it has been given that we need to calculate intake of a client. Total intake of a client. So, uh, in this type of question, first of all, you need to remember that uh, here it has been mentioned uh, cups, three cups, one cup, cup for several times, right? So you need to know that one cup is always equals to eight ounces. Okay, one cup is always equals to eight ounces, which uh, Means one ounce is equals to approximately 30 ml. Okay, in ml form while converting into ml, uh, one ounce is always equals to approximately 30 ml. So 30 in, into 8 for 8 ounces when you multiply by 30, 8 into 30 we will get 240 ml. So one cup is always equals to 8 ounces means that's always equals to approximately 240 ml. Okay, so uh, we should always remember this while uh, charting intake. So uh, here is the first intake. The client received 0.9% saline at 125 ml per hour for six hours. So here it has been said that the client has been receiving 0.9 percent saline, uh, 125 ml in an hour. In an hour, client was receiving 125 ml of saline. So for six hours, the client will receive six into 125 ml of saline means in total 750 ml. So 750 ml of total saline the patient will receive in six hours. 
Now, three cups of fresh juice. Three cups of fresh juice means one cup is always equals to approximately 240 ml. So three cups. So three cups means three into 240. That means 720 ml. Now, one cup of tea means one cup is equals to 240 ml. 240. One cup of tea is equals to 240 ml. Now, one cup of water means cup of water means one cup of water. That's also equals to 240 ml. Okay. Now, in total, we will get 1950 ml. So here is our final answer: 1950 ml. So we need to fill in the blanks. That's 1950 ml. So in this way, you can chart intake of a plant. Question number five: The nurse is preparing to administer a regular insulin IV bolus to a client who has hypoglycemic hypersmolar state. The primary healthcare provider has prescribed an initial bolus dose of 0.1 unit per kg. The client weighs 257 lbs. How much regular insulin should the nurse administer to the client as an IV bolus? Fill in the blank. Round your answer to the nearest whole number. So, this question is similar to question number two, right? So here it has been given the Uh, dose prescribed uh, the healthcare provider has prescribed the initial dose of insulin at 0.1 unit per kg and the but the client weight is given has been given in two in pounds right in lb lbs form in pound form so at first we need to convert the pound into kg and then we will multiply it right so this one is similar to question number two so First step is to convert client's weight from pounds to kg means 257 divided by 2.2, which will be 116.81 kg. So uh, we figured it out uh, in kg. After um, converting it into kg, multiply the prescribed dose by client's weight. So client's weight into prescribed dose. We had the formula right. So uh, client's weight into prescribed dose. That means prescribed dose is 0.1 unit, and client weight is 116.81 kg. And after multiplying, we'll get 11.68 units, right? Now we need to answer it in the nearest whole number, right? So the nearest whole number of On of 11.68 is 12, right? It is nearer to 12, so we will give 12 units of regular insulin IV bolus. Okay, this will be your answer. So in this way, you can calculate your drop dose. Now, now in in the next videos, we will. I will be. I will bring more questions uh, of drug doses. So keep uh, updated. Thank you.